Example 4 Start the virtual machine Narmox Spear Tutorial. This is an Ubuntu system with SDN controller, Narmox Spear application and the Mininet environment. The startup of the system may take a few minutes. When the system asks for the login, enter Narmox. For the password, enter Narmox as well. Check the IP address assigned to the VM. We need this IP address to log in via SSH service. Login using login Narmox and for the password enter Narmox again. Execute script starting example 4. The script loads the database file prepared for example 4. Then it starts the Mininet environment. In the meantime, start an internet browser. Enter the IP address of the VM. You can see a web page with tutorial instructions. Go to the section describing example 4. See the topology that will be used. The network topology consists of four open flow switches. Four hosts with statically assigned IP addresses. And three hosts acting as DHCP servers. There are also four hosts with no IP addresses assigned. Their IP addresses will be assigned by DHCP1 server. DHCP snooping security functionality will be reviewed. It is used to ensure only DHCP1 server can assign IP addresses. DHCP3 and DHCP2 servers must be blocked by Narmox Spear. We will check if this will actually happen. Go to the controller. Enter SDN as login and Skyline as password. Controller panel appears. Go to the Applications tab. Check if Normal Spear application is installed. If so, Spear tab appears in the menu. Click Spear tab to access Narmox Spear application. Go to the Topology tab. Observe the network topology as read by the application. It is the same as the topology on the picture. Go to the Switches tab. Four switches have been detected. All are active and marked with a green icon. Go to the Hosts tab. There are 11 hosts defined and none of them has been detected yet. Their IP addresses are not shown and they are not managed by the application yet. Switch over to the Mininet environment. Execute an xhosts command which lists available hosts. Four hosts have no assigned IP addresses. Those hosts will have their IP addresses assigned via DHCP. Execute an xpingol command generating traffic between hosts. It generates ARP packets, which the application uses to detect the hosts. To set their IP addresses and generate the paths between the hosts. Some hosts have no IP addresses assigned. Check the connection to DHCP1 server. Ping DHCP1 server from H12 host. There is significant delay of about one second. 
the delay to DHCP2 server is negligible. The delay to the HCP3 server is insignificant as well. That leads to expectation that the IP addresses assigned by DHCP will come from DHCP2 or DHCP3. As DHCP1 server should send DHCP response last due to significant network lag. Now set IP addresses of the hosts via DHCP. Execute DH client on H11 hosts. The IP address received ends with 3.103, which indicates it comes from DHCP3 server. Execute the DH client command on H21 host as well. H21 host receives IP addresses originating from DHP3 server. Repeat this for hosts H31 and H41. All the hosts received IP addresses originating from DHCP3 server, which is unsolicited server. Switch to Mininet and examine the lists of hosts. As shown, all the hosts have their IP addresses assigned. However, IP addresses have been assigned by DHCP3 server instead of DHCP1 server. Execute NX ping all command to confirm connections between all hosts are working. Check DHCP snooping security feature. To enable this feature, the address of an authorized DHCP server must be specified. This is a server with 172.2.401 address. A port the server is connected to must be specified as well. Check the port the DHCP1 server is connected to on the host list. It is connected to ETH4 port on S1 switch. Set it in security configuration. Turn DHCP snooping on. Go to the Mininet environment. New IP addresses of the hosts are already assigned by DHCP1 server. List hosts using NX hosts. Hosts have received addresses ending with 1103, 1119, 1114 and 1109, which means the addresses were assigned by DHCP1 server. Check the list of the hosts to see if IP addresses have been refreshed. Addresses were allocated correctly, therefore DHCP snooping security works fine. This is the end of example 4. Thank you.